Now to draw a linear function, I need two points. And finding these two points is quite easy, because a straight line, I just need two points. For example, if I have a point here, a point there, then I just make a straight line through those two points. So two points is enough for me to draw a linear function. The first point is very easy to find. It is the y-intercept. Now, why the y-intercept is very easy to find is because that is where x is equal to 0. If you think of the y-axis, or the Cartesian plane, x is 1 anywhere on this point. x would be 1. At the origin, x is 0, but it's also 0 everywhere on the y-axis. So if a line cuts the y-axis, I know that that point where it cuts, the, the x-coordinate will always be 0, and then depends on what the y-coordinate is. So to find the y-intercept of a graph, I just make x equal to 0. To find another point, we have three different ways depending on which one might be easiest in the situation. So for another point, I may use, if I want to, the x-intercept. So for the x-intercept, the same thing applies. The y-value, so we'll make y equal to 0. Another way we can do it is we just substitute any x equal to something but not x equal to 0 because we've already substituted x equal to 0 for our first point so we can just choose any other point substitute it in for x and find a value for y then we'll have another coordinate or finally we can use the gradient now the gradient is the value a, the one in front of the x. This gradient can be expressed as a numerator over a denominator. The denominator tells me how many steps forward And the numerator tells me how many steps up or down. And it will be up if it's positive, and it will be down if it's negative. Now I'll look at that in just a minute. So let's go and look at the example. So let's go look at our first function. We need two points. The first point is very easy to find. I just make x equal to 0. But when x is equal to 0, 2 times 0, that portion will cancel away completely. So the b value will always be the y-intercept. So negative 1 is the y-intercept. So we have one point already. Let's find the other point by finding the x-intercept. To find the x-intercept, we must make y equal to 0. So here, we must make y, or we can say fx, fx is now equal to 0, 0 is 2x minus 1, and now we can just solve it. So we say, okay, then 2x is equal to positive 1, so x is equal to a half. That means the x coordinate is a half for the y coordinate 0. And that is the point there, halfway between there. And all I need to do now is connect a line through those two points. There we go with a straight line through those two points. And we usually put arrows at the end indicating that this line still goes on to infinity. Let's look at the second one. 
in the second one we notice that our B value is zero what that means is that where do I cut my y-axis at zero you'll notice it's also where I cut my x-axis and now the problem is that I can't find another point on the x-axis the x-intercept and the y-intercept is the same point so let's find another point by using some other value for x so let's say let's look at what happens if f is equal sorry if x is equal to 2 you can choose any value other than 0 I'm going to use 2 and if I use 2 I see that negative 3 times 2 gives me negative 6 in other words another point on this line is n is the value 2 for x and negative 6 for y so we go 2 for x that means it's somewhere here and the y value is negative 6 somewhere there so where those two lines meet there is another point and with that in mind I connect these two put arrow on the sorry put arrows on the end and that is the line and we should actually and I often forget this we should actually put the name of the function fx is equal to negative 3x write it on there next to it um, most of the times we won't if we draw on one graph we will one be will be fx another one will be gx okay there I quickly fixed it and wrote the first lines equation on the graph as well okay let's look at this last one we've already for that last one found the a value which is the gradient and we found the b value which is the y-intercept. The y-intercept is positive 1. So that's where my graph will cut the y-axis. The a value is now negative 2 over 3. Remember what I said that that determines the gradient, the steepness of the graph. And this one tells me that for every three steps I must go forward I must go two steps down and the reason why it's down and not up is because of the negative so starting at this point to find another point I'm going to go three steps forward so th I'm jump one two three jumps forward and then two jumps down one two down and there would be another point then there I have my third graph with arrows at the end showing it goes on GX there we go I hope you find this entertaining and you got it you understood it so good luck in trying it on your own now